Okay, y'all, I'm back. My phone wrong. Sorry about that. I had it on mute, but it lets my favorite come through. But y'all, look at that. Triumph and the solar plexus. Baby, get the sun. This is a general read for everybody. Again, this is for the Tarot by the Tree Tuesday. Uh, my official debut of Tarot by the Tree. I did one on the 28th. I think it was the 28th of May. Um, I just kind of did it sporadically walking at the lake. But today is Tarot by the Tree Tuesdays. Where I do a general read for everybody on seeing what the energy is of the week for everybody. All signs included. And look what comes out. Our Moonology. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Un unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going for some of you. Uh, like I was saying in the first part two, part one video, Rona Girl has awakened a lot of people to their relationship and it's sad. It's just time to move on for a lot of people. They've either fallen back in love being under one roof or being under one roof. They've pretty much realized they've fallen apart and that happens. That's life. Uh, soulmate connections are coming through as well um, with this. Also, bringing in love for people and, you know, bringing in transformation for others um, because we all know it's ebb and flow. So everybody is not meant to stay together forever. Okay, I do have my heart chakra and my, my root chakra and my heart chakra bowl. I've chimed it on the first one. I'm not going to chime it again. I'm just going to try to do this because this grass is hard. It's sticking through my leg and I keep moving like, God dang, why is this grass so hard? But I'm sitting between two trees, y'all, doing my tarot readings. I did the weekly ones for the earth sign today. Go check it out on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you are if you have any earth signs in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it will be uploaded for you there. Tomorrow is our fire signs. Leo, uh, Aries, and Sagittarius on Wednesday. Our Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius on Thursday. You will find the the tarot schedule down below in the description box for you there um let's see what is in store for us what is the dominant energy the spirit source energy god allah prime creator buddha whoever you call your source uh woo, coming in as the king of pentacles i can see why i can see why some of y'all are definitely triumphing right now Y'all are charging fucking ahead. You're not letting all this distraction and shit get to you. You guys are like taking the throne. While everybody else is fucking panicking and, and worried about these, these damn distractions that they're creating. Y'all are like, fuck that. I got a throne to fucking get, baby. I got an empire to fucking rule. Fuck that. I'm charging and sitting here like, look at here. Look at that. Shit. Y'all keep playing if y'all want to. Keep playing not doing shit that you ain't supposed to be doing. That's the overall energy, by the way. Spirit source energy, what do you have for everyone? Spirit source energy. Oh, those just fell out of my hand. And why are some of these upside down? That's too many. Spirit source energy, give us our collective overall energy for all signs. Going, coming through. Spirit Source Energy, what do you need us to know? What would you have for us to know, Spirit Source Energy? Thank you. This reading is timeless. Look at that sexy shit right there. I dubbed that my goddamn signature right there. This damn move right there. Shit. Look at that Sagittarius coming up in there. Temperance. Woo, baby. She's saying, hold the hell on because I got some alchemy to fucking do right now. Y'all hold on and let me work my goddamn magic. I love this little redheaded sister right here, baby. That's my girl right there. Temperance has taught. Look at there. There's another one. Look at that shit. Woo! What is going on with these cards? They are flipping all kind of crazy. Okay, let me, hold on. Let me check my cards, y'all. Oh, don't you blow these cards around here. Oh, yeah. Let me turn my cards up. I ain't doing no, uh, we ain't doing no reversals with this reading, y'all. Oh, no. I must have picked up the deck wrong. <laughs> Hold on a second, y'all. Let me correct my cards right quick. 
let me cover okay ancestors y'all gonna let me do this or not i hope that car was in the right spot hold on y'all give me a second i don't know how i picked up the deck upside down or it might have been when it was raining i was trying to put i was trying to put it in the right spot you know get it in my cart before it rained chango tried to come down on me and rain at the pool and i was like wait a minute chango i'm out here doing cards how you gonna rain on me how you gonna rain on me chango chango like girl get your ass somewhere in the house i'm like i want to do it out here by the pool can you wait a minute <laughs> gotta love our elements gotta love our damn elements y'all y'all are made of them damn elements you better honor them damn elements that's what's wrong with us. Y'all ain't taking the time out to honor your damn elements that you came from, baby. And that's why shit fucking up y'all. Because you ain't giving that honor where that honor and respect is due. And to it and what is due to. Thank you, Yifa. <laughs> oh, wait. Thank you, Chongo. Yes, indeed. -y. You got to tell me. Shit, I already know what time it is. Look at that Ace of Cups, y'all. Spirit Source Energy, what do you have for us on the collective Spirit Source Energy for everyone uh, for this Tarot by the Tree Tuesday? What do you have for us to know Spirit Source Energy? Seven of Pentacles, Spirit Source Energy, what else? all energy somebody feeling sad and left out and pathetic right about now wonder who that could be high priestess y'all go within tap into your spirit source energy so this is your overall and under all energy somebody is sad that you guys are triumphing right now taking the lead over your life you know having the authority over your life and taking back your life and you left a couple of people uh behind and they're feeling fucking sorry right about now oh well <sighs> that's what you got this for triumph ahead baby go ahead get the victory get your throne your throne and keep this shit fucking moving that's what i say fuck it y'all know me i'm gonna keep it real if you don't like it this the wrong goddamn reading for you i'm sorry let's move along because <laughs> i ain't i'm not sugarcoating shit <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not that one <laughs> It's enough lying going on around this damn world. Y'all ought to want the goddamn truth for a change. That's the only thing gonna wake motherfuckers up any goddamn way. Is you give their ass the fucking truth. And nothing but the fucking truth. And if they can't handle the truth, then they need to go work on them damn selves about that shit. And take it up with their damn creator. Okay? So, uh, my son's coming. I don't know if he's coming or not. Uh, so... Like I said, y'all, you got your temperance card here coming in uh, right here first. That's my girl. She's going to work on doing a lot of things for you. You know, this is your Sagittarius alchemy energy right here. I wanted this tree. I knew this wind was going to be trying to blow. Uh, she's saying be patient, y'all. Y'all have earned y'all emotional cup. Y'all have the cup that is for you that you're going to that you're going to get a lot of fulfillment out of you you've accomplished so much and learned so many lessons uh through this journey you know that y'all have emotionally you know grown and become emotionally mature and stable with this nine of cups that means y'all completed y'all lesson for some of y'all out there you've completed the lessons that you were you were meant to complete and now you know you're moving on to the next you know the next phase of things you have completed what you needed to complete here with the help of temperance and the world card and the nine of cups that means you completed it you're you're coming out of the out of the shell now out of the oyster look at there you got the taurus oh lord you got come on y'all if these get out of order i will not know what the heck all right all right y'all spirit come on now can i not have the wind right now Yeah. 
their fucking asses got probably rain coming because they fucking with that park shit. Dumb asses. But anyway, they don't control the weather we do. So they got to fake, fakely control the fucking weather. And the goddamn weather people want to fucking lie about it, assholes. They know they, they know they ass be doing that shit. They're sworn to secrecy, by the way, y'all. Don't think them fucking we, meteorologists and shit don't fucking know what the hell they can't say certain things. The news people can't say certain things, y'all. Y'all don't want to face the truth, then I'm going to fucking give it to you straight to your goddamn face. Here it is right here. For some of y'all, not all of y'all, this here is the Nine of Cups. It's fucking May, y'all. What the fuck? I, excuse me, y'all, but this shit is fucking ridiculous. It's fucking May. You see these cars blowing this wind? When? No, it's not May. I'm sorry. It's fucking June. When the fuck have y'all known when to blow in fucking June? Get the fuck out of here. I hope my ancestors come through and tear this motherfucker up. I swear to God, I do. <laughs> really tear some shit up. <laughs> shit. Playing with the damn weather. And here it is, June. What kind of nonsense is this? Anyway, back to y'all reading. I just had to let that out. Yes, I'm real like that. Okay? Uh energy wanted that shit out so guess what y'all got it okay y'all must have needed a reality check some of y'all but anyway some of y'all on in this reading that it may resonate with have moved on to the next level you have the nine completing the circle you know the world card is you making that 360 back around right and that's you coming out of the oyster shell so to speak of like here i am world this is me this is what i'm going to be doing and it took you a, a while there and even still you have to learn to be patient because it's so much more you know for you ahead look at that the four ends of the world baby you have went around the fucking world and got that emotional cut that you needed you know that takes uh that takes pride and and guts in itself let me leave that down right there so y'all can see uh, hoping that stay on there y'all oh i guess i can do it like that i got my crystals on it now some of you guys are dealing with uh the temperance some of you guys are dealing with a broken heart here currently in, in the present okay and at the heart of the matter there's still you know some things that's not being said and you're guarding it you're not really coming out with the truth but you're hiding the fact or you're guarding the fact that you've got a broken heart well you're gonna have to release those swords on your own take those swords out so you can begin to heal and, and slowly you know heal that broken heart that you're facing and this is someone being deceptive someone being conniving or someone being tricky and not really See the fox, look up the fox animal totem as well. Someone's being deceptive and not telling the truth or not speaking their truth. And, and it's because they've had this, you know, they fear rejection. This person fears, uh, this person fears they're gonna be rejected or they're worrying about rejecting, rejection. Hey son. Hey, and uh, this is the, my son, my oldest just came over here. Uh, this is two of swords uh, being guarded. You're being guarded. You're, you're looking through in the inside, but you're guarding your heart. So you're not fully open or the person has not opened up in communicating with you yet. So it seems like deception, uh, but it's really not. It's just the communication hasn't really came forward yet. Okay. With some of you guys. Let's see. If this is so. This is stay. Here is my money tree again. I dubbed this my money tree. There you got the hangman. The delays being moved. You're getting ready to build something uh, of value. The material wealth. You have the seven of pentacles. Like I said, this is like a long term. Uh, somebody's thinking back on a long term partnership. Somebody's wanting a long term relationship with somebody, and the delays are being removed. But you still have to remember to let go of things that no longer serve you, right? And then also you're wanting to build something long lasting uh, here in the future. So you see this relationship uh, unfolding here. Um, and there is no, 
it's interesting because there's no king or queen here yet until I clarify and see what's going on. But you can tell that this is a relationship of emotional balance here with the nine of cups with the seven of pentacles you know that someone is dealing with a broken heart here and trying to heal that broken heart and haven't came clean with their emotional uh, scars or let that person in or able to communicate to that person yet and that is in the present this is in the future here they're wanting to really build something long term with you and so it's taking uh patience temperance here to work things out and to purify the egos or to purify the heartache here with this person you know because this person really wants this long-term partnership with you guys okay this person see you guys as building something together okay this is what they're not telling you see you give them that emotional fulfillment they think of you as the one that has given them the, the most and they've chosen you with this nine of cups, but it's a secret. You don't know that right now, but this is what they're hoping to build with you in the future with this 10 of pentacles here, okay? And this world card here is they see you on top of the world. They see you as their world, as their everything, but they're not really telling you at the heart of the matter yet because they're watching, they're spying. They may be testing to see how you respond to them and you know and how you respond to them and if you're going to respond in the way that they need you to respond to let them know that you are this person to build with or that you are this person that they can have a long stable uh loving relationship with this is a person of business this is a person that you know is about business maybe in the finance world might be in stocks maybe in corporate america it may be a business person a person that owns their own business even for some of you guys uh, let's do some clarification uh now trying to do tarot by the tree can i get some help here and not have some wind the rain almost got me at the pool i did three over there and started raining through the gazebo i was like really chango you want to rain on a sister right now <laughs> it started hitting my cars and i had to pack up some of this stuff oh my gosh i love my elements though i ain't gonna lie i love my rain i love the smell of rain i love rain the sound of rain i love everything about the damn rain okay I love me some water baby okay and these remember are your triumph your key where's my other one there's the in, underneath one your moonology those are all your oracles i had to hide them up under there because the wind tried to take them away okay spirit source energy let's do some clarification clarification here yeah i said clarification <laughs> y'all like what the hell is that some clarifying god damn okay <laughs> Look at there. Woo, gonna be some celebrating, y'all. Gonna be some celebrating. All right, Spirit Source Energy. Okay, we are at 16 minutes here. Spirit Source Energy. Let's do some clarifying here. What is, please clarify the, for us, the Seven of Swords, Spirit Source Energy. Woo, what about the Seven of Swords? Whoa, the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. The person is feeling sorry and sad and emotional loss about the Queen of Cups and how the Queen of Cups was treated, okay? That's what's break, breaking the heart and that's what's not being said. What, what else about the Five of Cups? There's that Five of, was that the Five of Swords under there? That was the Seven. So this person again is like knowing that the Queen has the power in their hand knowing that the, the ultimate decision now and look at the nine of cups they are really stressing the nine of cups the emotional maturity of this person okay and knowing that you are everything to them and knowing that you are their sunshine they they are they are wanting to tell you that you are everything to them and that you are their sunshine that you are their world that they feel that you are the one for them 
and they're they're willing to work with it and to work at it with the eight of pentacles and to put this relationship back in balance they're saving money they're working hard um to give you the life that you deserve and that's why the the that's why the the um where is it at the five of cups the loss you know that's why they feel it's a loss because they don't feel they can give you that right now but they're working hard on it and they're feeling like there's a little bit of defeat you know they're listening like the communication has been broken they they're feeling the victory uh it's kind of like a bittersweet victory kind of you know they don't know what you're going to say and what you're going to do and they've had to go to battle with some people about this relationship that they've had to just you know let go and cut some certain people are loose about this this relationship because of the um i guess it's it's one of those religious type things where you might be a different race okay you might be in a certain religion that don't allow it or don't condemn it whatever this type of relationship is for you and that person you know it could be religious factors involved it could be race factors not race but uh interracial uh things about this relationship like y'all could be different races or in different religions or something okay and they've had to cut people off because of it you know spirit source energy what else about the five of swords Woo! the ace of what whoa baby they want they baby they want you for the rest of their life this person loves you whoever this is out there your person loves the heck out of you baby they wants to get busy they wants a physical connection with you they wants to lay the wand down baby they wants to get yes for the rest of the life lay the wand down that's what i'm talking about mm -hmm. they want to get physical with you I see y'all. I see y'all out there. I see y'all out there getting freaky. Mm -hmm. I see y'all out there trying to be all freaky. The spirit said it. I didn't. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at the message. <laughs> Look, and he coming in fast with the knight of swords, baby. Your, your baby. They coming in with the truth. They coming in taking charge and taking over. They like not taking over in a bad way, but they're coming in wanting to communicate this, this love that they have for you. Okay. And wanting to build something you know long term and wanting you for the rest of their life and wanting to build a foundation this ten of pentacles with you so it's not going to be any more delays they're chopping down any fucking delays that's in the fucking way right now Woo, this is beautiful y'all spirit source energy what else can you tell us about this reading death card devil see it's your tie look at this what y'all saw that look at that look where it fell death to there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So whoever is out there, this relationship is going through a major fucking overhaul. This is your scorpion energy. This is the death card. This, this relationship is getting a fucking makeover. You know, don't get that unrequited love mistaken, y'all. For some of y'all, yes, it may be literal the end of marriages or a person that's abusing you or not respecting your love or your kindness and taking you for granted yes that shit need to fucking die but this also is saying that it's going to be revealed the relationship is going through a major transformational change with this scorpion energy to be rebuilt so yes the old fucking shit is gone yeah the old way that person was treating you is dead that person has come into a new uh uh emotional nine of cups being where they they see your worth now and they know your worth or you know your person's worth now because the nine of cups came out twice here that is the the, the spirit the spirit the energy the source is trying to stress that both parties have emotionally grown that they have emotionally become balanced and now they see each other's worth in the relationship or in them meeting or whatever life lessons relationship lessons that they had to learn that they both see it now 
this is beautiful spirit source energy so we're gonna leave the death card up there because it fell up there that's where the hell it want to be so look at here the devil is them being tied like i said in another reading a, a while ago i don't know if it was capricorn or taurus that they're chained through in infinity not in a toxic way but in a soulmate way because of the seven of pentacles being here that that shows you that's a long-term partnership commitment like they, they want to be with you for the rest of their life you know in this passion in this in this moment in this life okay and they feel like y'all have been tied together you know holding things together for a while now thank you spirit source energy what else about the devil energy see there and it's like about these opportunities and choices like they know you got choices out there they know you got plenty of opportunities out there okay they know and maybe they had plenty of opportunities and choices and now they've come up with that one cup that nine of cups that they want out of all those choices and, and opportunities but you know that's up for you to decide they i mean they might have had a lot of people after them you might have had a lot of people after you trying to get to you but y'all like i said both of y'all with two nine of cups here is stressing that you know you have emotionally grown okay this is beautiful let's see what else let me see if my cars aren't trying to blow away from me spirit source energy what else about the nine of look at there see and they're been they've been like there's a hermit car right up in there they've been thinking about it they've been like up late at night thinking about this whole thing okay and how they're going to get the victory look at that and the energy's coming in fast they're making quick decisions look at their hangman again delays are being removed okay the things are the obstacles are being removed there's not going to be any more obstacles in a the way there's nothing going to be but quick uh decisions being made you know you guys already know what you want spirit source energy uh what's the challenge spirit source energy what's the challenge judgment you want a new beginning both of you want a new beginning what's the outcome spirit source energy what's the outcome ten of cups they want a happy marriage they want a marriage proposal a commitment and a union that's the outcome damn Woo! what is the advice spirit source energy and carrying those burdens wow they know that you've had a lot of, of uh, opportunities and choices hey, they know that you uh, you sit there in your power and you know there's a lot of burdens on you and they may want to come and ease that burden you know with this ten of wands they may feel like you're the one they are you're worth carrying the load for to make it easier on you as a queen of wands this y'all could be male or female it doesn't matter okay uh flip the energies how y'all need to this is beautiful what else about the ten of wands spirit source energy what advice about the ten of wands what other advice look at there broken heart again wow and, and what temperance is saying is that it's going to take this person or you time to heal the broken heart. That y'all are going to have to be patient through this whole process with each other. But through this whole process, you're going to have the long-term uh, relationship and the trust that you need uh, for this relationship to grow into something beautiful. And to get that victory that, you, that you're both wanting. Okay? And it's just gonna take time. Look how it crossed the temperance card and look how it's under the temperance card. So it's stressing that both of these got, oh, my feet asleep. Ah! I can't feel my toes. Oh, they sleep. Oh, Lord. What am I sitting on? Jeez Louise. God, Mother Nature, shit. <laughs> I need some tough skin, don't I, JD? <laughs> my son yeah mom you need tough skin oh this hurt look at the look at the grass print in my feet ah okay y'all back to the reading we getting just all kind of like <laughs> i'm grounding my root chakra right now <laughs> i'm grounding my root chakra and my heart chakra all right i'm grounding it okay 
Okay, so both of you guys out there have endured heartache. Both of you guys are fearing rejection right now. Uh, I'm trying to find out. Both of you guys are, are fearing rejection right now. Okay, wow. Spirit Source Energy, what is the future, immediate future? Spirit Source Energy, what is the immediate future? Can you tell us the immediate future? Woo! Woo! Oh, Lord, that's a lot. Woo! Lord, do you see that? That's out twice. Both are, are protecting their heart. Both of them are relying solely on intuitive guidance. Okay. Um, this also saying there is a blockage in the heart chakra as well. They're protecting their heart. Okay. So for right now, there may not be any emotions uh, for right now to you know because they're protecting their heart this is the seven of swords where they're thinking long term again they're thinking uh, a long term relationship with the seven of pentacles out here twice like you're really the one you are really the one y'all that's that's look at there the emperor has showed up and the empress look at that this is a match look at this this is a fucking match oh lord look at the future fucking outcome do you see that shit there do you see that shit there they will be married they see each other as soulmates this is feminine balance this is yin yang baby this is them protecting what they have they're even protecting their emotions from people on the outside not just them but on the outside they're like keeping this shit a secret and they're gonna just you know they're thinking of long-term longevity, you know, prosperous. Look at the pinnacle, seven of pinnacles, baby. Come on here. Emperor sitting in that divine power, a father figure type, a leader, uh, uh, you know, taking the authority to control over their life. And then the ace of pinnacle, a new beginning, a new beginning unfolding of, of value, you know, being handed to them, a fresh new start. I told you, where was it up here that they were, they were fighting back, you know, from this one right here fighting for this relationship you know against others it could have been a religious thing it could have been a, 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 a ethical you know ethical ethnic thing like Indian or Caucasian because mostly Indian people don't even go outside their their race anyway so it could have been something like that then look they see you as single vibrant sexy independent you know having it all you know and then they see you as the empress like this person sees you as taking the leadership of, over your life there they see you and you guys may see each other as this but this is like balance you know mother earth the empress taurus energy okay pentacles taurus energy capricorn uh, virgo okay they see you as taking control over their life over your life they see them they see themselves with you and having this ten of pentacles here and having this seven of pentacles this is beautiful y'all beautiful look at the rose quartz there there's the rose quartz there's the clear quartz baby there's the citrine hey there is the citrine there it is there is the aquamarine wow beautiful crystals today that is y'all reading do like and subscribe below hit the notification button let me know if it resonates with you if this is your soulmate story narrative scenario hit your girl up give me a like button uh hit that bell share it throughout all those social medias you know let the world know that hey the soulmates have a ride baby they are on the freaking planet to raise the vibration and mother earth baby is all for it the empress baby the heart chakra mother earth some of you guys may be getting pregnant too i'm just here to tell you so if you ain't wanting a baby now you know what to do but if you want the baby this comes with new opportunities the empress energy the divine feminine new new uh successes new beginnings new opportunities um with fertility with pregnancy with babies even pregnancies with new ideas of thoughts even if it's not a real baby it's you guys are going to be getting new thoughts and and new ideas hitting you 
write them down get you a tablet a notebook or something and start writing down the thoughts that come through your mind because you will probably be doing something later with them with you or your person or if you're you're going to be single staying single you're going to be doing those things uh for yourself and creating this so it could go either way for those that choose the single route it could be either way for those that choose the soulmate twin flame route but marriage and union definitely happy home is in the works for you guys i'm so happy i better get some wedding invitations that's all i'm saying email me i'm just saying so i can congratulate you at least okay that's all i'm saying major transformation is on the way for y'all don't give up on love don't give up on love the love boat y'all saw that that was the high priestess there too see there saying go within go within follow your spirit guides listen to your intuitive nature your spirit guides your spirit source the inner voice do some meditation you know go within the moon keep your see keep your business your soulmate connections a secret for now don't let them out don't let them out keep them a secret that's what i'm hearing because you got people being deceptive with the seven of swords people are going to be trying to to take from you not want that to happen so the high priest is also is in the building to say keep your moves your relationships off of these social medias okay work on them amongst yourself have your private life and keep your private life private okay that's straight from the spirit for some of y'all because i know y'all like to brag and boast and and doing this and being everywhere around everywhere and all that stuff well that's not that time now okay this is the time that y'all need to concentrate because of the broken heart that came out this is y'all time to concentrate on healing yourself and you can't heal yourself if you're going to be on social media blasting everything about you and your relationship okay you gotta be, you gotta have that one-on-one -on -one time you gotta balance out you know each other and and see you know come to an agreement and work on getting to know each other you know on a personal level before you're just out there all in the open i'm engaged i'm married and all this shit. and then you're not the, you know in the next month or two the shit broke up and then you're looking like damn what the fuck happened well because you boast and brag and people sent negative energy that's what the fuck happened life obstacles thank you all and you know what your girls say peace love and harmony because if you got peace love and harmony in your heart you'll have peace love and harmony in the world and with mother nature keep that vibration up y'all love 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 is master love is key and love is definitely love peace